for me, fundamentally, the most important thing in any job is actually to get along really well with your boss. Um, and when Sipo Maseko joined, Sipo was uh, one of my line bosses at Vodacom. And when he joined Telcom, um, I, I knew that kind of things would happen was the first thing. The second thing is I think I'd done what I needed to do at Vodacom and I was becoming increasingly kind of bored. Um, and the opportunity, those things collided. And kind of I got approached, they asked me, I really considered it. I spoke to Sipo, I spoke to one of the board members, Santi Buerta. And between them, they convinced me that that was actually kind of a fairly exciting challenge um, over the next two to three years. So I think um, on pretty much all dimensions, the telecom brand has uh, lost the consumer regard, right? So when you look at it in 2003, telecom was one of South Africa's three most loved brands. Since then, all measures across saliency, brand regard, consideration, likability have all declined. So I think it's about rebuilding all of that. And if you ask me, the phases are at a business level, we're going through a phase where we're kind of trying to create one telecom. We've had multiple business units, business, mobile business, mobile, fixed line. We're trying to create one telecom because we think all of those assets are what kind of will drive a very strong consumer and business proposition. So that's the first thing, creating one telecom um, and ensuring that the, all the identity tools deliver against that. The second thing is rebuilding brand emotion. So our communication has become largely transactional. And then the third phase is building advantage. So actually creating propositions that are unique, different and better to anything in the market. So that's the third phase. And then really after that, maintaining the momentum. So what you'll start seeing in the next two to three months is firstly a, an identity that kind of is new and probably a lot more contemporary. Um, but recognizable, but we're trying to really unify that internally across the business. So that's the mantra, one telecom internally and externally. And then I think we've developed a communication campaign that is very different to anything in the category. So I think um, the category has a number of communication rules it plays by, be it Celsi, Vodacom, MTN. I think what we have is a concept that breaks out of that mold. And I think it starts talking to a product category that is in telecoms, but is very different to kind of mobile. So if you look at telecom, we've got 143,000 kilometers of fiber. Um, at our annual results, uh, which were fairly uh, pleasant, we announced that by December, we will deliver 20 suburbs, will have fiber to the home. So I think that's the first thing. But increasingly, the core of what telecom does will be home broadband as opposed to mobile or anything else. So home and office broadband will ultimately become our business. Why is that Why is that lucrative? Because at the moment I use DSTV as a proxy. DSTV have about 5 million subscribers. Home broadband has about 800,000 subscribers. So there's probably, I consider that to be about 16% penetrated, whereas mobile is 120% penetrated. So I think there's, there's, a, there's significant upside. So recontextualizing our business, recontextualizing the category, um, and then really kind of starting to drive consumer demand for that category. I think mobile is a big category. Is it a growing category? Um, probably not. So if you look at the latest results from MTN and Vodacom, MTN were minus 6% down on revenue. Vodacom were 0.6% up on revenue. Telcom with fairly mediocre performance were 1.5% up on revenue. Right, so I think um, mobile is a massive category and you've got to participate, um, but I don't think it's a growth category, especially not for a fourth place player. We're always going to be a poor fourth place player, whereas in home broadband, we can be a leader. And I think if you look at the potential revenue per user or per household, they're much higher and growing than mobile, which is kind of lower and declining. So telecom business will still go. So telecom business is a market leader. It's probably one of the areas of excellence within telecom. So one of my colleagues, Dr. Brian Armstrong, really kind of uh, facilitated the turnaround of that business unit. That's done very well. It, of the top five banks, we are the leading provider to the top five banks and pretty much all of corporate South Africa. Obviously that's being challenged by mobile uh, businesses as they develop business solutions, but that's still a very lucrative business and that makes up about 48, 49% of our revenue.